The first war of Indian independence in 1857 led to the development of political awakening in India. Many educated youth provided leadership to various associations which had nationalistic outlook. Among them, the Hindu Mela, All Indian Association, Pune Public Sabha and their Indian Association are important. Newspapers opposed the stance of the government. During reign of Lord Lytton, Vernacular Press Act was implemented to curb the independence of the independent press. All these development inevitably led to the establishment of Indian National Congress. The Indian National Congress, which changed the direction of Indian political history, was born in a national convention held at Bombay in 1885. W. C. Banerjee was its first president. A. O. Hume played an important role in formation of Indian National Congress. Hume was a retired British civil servant and met political leaders in cities like Madras, Bombay and Calcutta and discussed the various issues of public importance. As a result of these deliberations, the Congress declared that achieving national unity as its primary aim during its first national convention, it thrived to achieve unity among the diverse cultural and social parts of India. The leaders of this period also had the commitment to achieve it. Newspapers were published in vernacular language and enabled discussion on various social issues. As a result, various political issues reached the people. The British employed divide and rule policy to break the unity emerging among the people with the development of nationalism. They started implementing strategies to cause disunity among Hindus and Muslims. Still, the Indian National Congress continued with its focus on creating unity among Indians. During the later part of 19th century, difference of opinions arose in the Indian National Congress. Due to their differences in ideology, beliefs and execution styles they are identified as moderates and radicals.